DSS are criminals and liars, looking for a way to destroy Biafra struggle, hello viewers, welcome to my news compound, please do not forget to like and share our videos. I think some of us are playing into the game of the DSS unknowingly. Nothing has ever happened in these three years without a reason. Everything was calculated properly and executed. Have you ever sat down to reason or reflect on why Nigeria LN government have to use judges ridiculously to make sure Matsi Namdi Kanu remained in the DSS dungeon instead of Kyuj prison? If you have thought about the reason behind this, you will surely not play into their game. It is very important to those holding Matsi Namdi Kanu that he be restricted from getting access to visitors who will likely tell him the real and right information on the ground. If they allowed him access to that information what agent provocateur did wouldn't have happened. It would have been checked immediately. It took IPOB leadership time to checkmate them because they couldn't get the right info to Matsi Namdi Kanu. Even when they had a slight access to him through bar. Ifani Ejiofor, DSS officials were there to listen to all their conversations through bugging devices. It would have been a different ball game had it been the siblings of Matsi Namdi Kanu who have expressed access to Matsi Namdi Kanu did not fall out with IPOB leadership. Personally, I feel they were compromised. It might be due to their desperation to set their brother free that led to their compromise. Or probably their greed for money. But whatever it is, compromise is unforgivable. This compromise led to lots of things, including the loss of lives. It is in the interests of the Nigerian government that bar. Ifani Ejiofor and Mike Ozakom give way. And siblings of Matsi Namdi Kanu and other dubious lawyers worked systematically to achieve this. Ejiofor has given pieces of information contrary to the lies being peddled by the siblings of MNK. To stop him they also pushed lies against him and got him out of the way. The defeat of autopilots is s huge blessing but I see more division when MNK comes out if we are not careful. And the restriction of information to Matsi Namdi was meant to achieve this division. Many people are seriously attributing what the siblings of Matsi Namdi are doing to MNK and this is very wrong. Taking someone out and getting his siblings he trusted to lie to him for three years will definitely cause the person to make some decisions that won't be appropriate. The visit of Matsi Namdi Kanu's wife did some magic but I doubt if it is enough. Every IPOB member must shun every thinking that MNK will ever dream of betraying this struggle. You must understand that if he had the intention of betraying, he would have been out a very long time ago. You must also stop listening to whoever is telling you that a negotiation with the Nigerian government is wrong. Another important thing is that you must know that accepting regional government is not a betrayal. All of us know that it is Biafra, but you must be very wise here. If they negotiate and agree with the regional government, it is a plus for IPOB. It means our region has been secured, though not completely. But with it, the people can decide to seek a referendum as a region. The politicians can be forced to serve the people or even be dethroned. Those who were able to make the entire Southeast to sit at home on May 30, 2024 can take over the region under a twinkle of an eye. But you must remain resolute and united as one. Don't allow anyone to bias your mind. Do you still remember when the election boycott of 2019 was cancelled? Many rushed to social media to shout that MNK had betrayed. What happened after? When DOS called off the Monday sit at home, many insulted them. What happened next? It was the cancellation that separated IPOB from the blackmail of the government using the criminals in autopilot. When the DOS refused to call for a boycott in the 2023 election, some people who were ignorant of the future bashed them. The refusal of DOS to call for a boycott remains the reason the intellectuals of today did not blame the rigging out of Peter Obi on IPOB. If not for the wisdom of DOS, none of them would believe that Obi was rigged out. But some of you criticized them. I don't see the government of Nigeria accepting regional government, but if they do, we should not be the people to thwart it. It is a gain for us. And whether they resort to restructuring or not the struggle continues. IPOB members must reject any form of friction when MNK comes out. You must be patient. 
lies can't last for long. It will be dismantled. There is no type of lies the siblings of MNK did not tell MNK. They even told him that IPOB leadership had forgotten him. That no one mentions him again on Radio Biafra. Do you think these types of lies will last when the IPOB leader comes out? Even the internet doesn't forget. He will come and he will read the events of the last three years by himself. Na Imanasis. Our people have to grow up. When I mean grow up, they have to grow up. They have to grow up. Because they have allowed themselves to be used for so long. DSS are busy peddling lies everywhere. And some people are going around listening to the entities. Nande Kano has been in this struggle for so long. He took an oath before you and I that he will never betray this struggle and that he has not done for so long. This is not the first time he has been in custody of DSS, even though this period is so long. What makes you think that he is about to betray the struggle? Because the lawyer is pushing for a consolation. With Nigerian government, which is already in the law, enacted in the law. Nam the Kano himself personally knows that Biafra struggle is non negotiable. But the truth is this if Nigerian government are willing, to give Biafra's regional government. That is a work on development. At least we will be aware that we have secured our land. Just like the news said. Sometimes some of our brothers and sisters who are too young to understand anything about this struggle is being deceived unnecessarily having referendum is not an easy thing Ojuku went into war because all their friends agreed to fight it out but what happened he failed not because he did not do his best, but because so many people have hand in his failure. This is a man whom every Biafrance accepted to go into this war with him. But upon that he fed because some people betrayed him because uh, war powers refuse to allow their friends be so all ip members must be aware of this that is not an easy thing we have to be aware of this to have a referendum some people claim they can use civil disobedience, but you cannot be able to get Biafra through civil disobedience, not in this country called Nega area. And those who are their backbone doing everything possible to protect them. It was easy in the time of Ojuku, but upon that he fed because 
so many world leaders were against him because of the resources in Biafra land. Today, Namde Kano has made it possible for the world to recognize Biafra. If not before, nobody knows Biafra. And this is not the first time he's going to jail for Biafra struggle. Regional government is a work on development. For those of you who don't know, through the regional government, you can also get the whole Biafra you are planning to get. At least with regional government, you can be able to secure a land. You can also be able to hold your leaders accountable, if possible, push them out from offices. You can also take over the government as leaders. Then they can start pursuing for referendum in those places that was cut out from your land. That is it. Let me tell you something with special invitation devil can see god do not allow those who are trying to deceive you telling you that they can get their flight they get their flight it's all lies they don't have the capability they only make noise the dss themselves are doing everything possible for you to Use your hand to destroy this Biafra struggle, my brother. Wake up from sleep. I do not have more to say because some of you don't understand. But all I can leave for you today is that the news said it all. The writer said it all. Regional government is a work on development. With that, we can secure our remaining land through referendum. At least then we have power when we have regional government. We can hold these criminals accountable in whatever evil they are doing. We can easily push them out of office if they refuse to serve us the way we want. That is it. These things are not things we should be saying here. But because it's very important and themselves know about it. So there's no need of hiding it. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much. And please do not forget to like this video so that YouTube can be able to share it. Thank you so much and remain blessed. Cheers.